What's going on YouTube, Gios right here. Today I'm gonna to test three online PDF services that offer a lot of free tools if you need to manipulate any sort of PDF file, like compress PDFs, convert them to Word and stuff like that, or protect them, do OCR and so on. We're gonna test and compare PDNAB online, small PDF, as well as I love PDF. All three of these solutions provide free tools for you to handle PDF files. If you're a student or a professional who needs to work with PDFs, all three of them provide signing, convert, to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and so on. All three of them can compress PDF files and all three of them can do OCR. But we're going to test each one of them and see which one is the best and which one is the freest of all because some of these do have limitations behind a paywall. So let's see exactly which one is the best. I'm going to start with PDNAB over here and let's see what it can do. They claim to have no limits. So let's test the OCR one. I do have in here a test document which is a scanned PDF file. I'm going to open it in Adobe to show you. As you can see, the text over here is not selectable. You cannot select the individual words or letters. Scanned documents from your printer or your scanner are usually an image and you're not able to search this document even if you want to. For example, if I search for the word jailbreak, it doesn't find anything, even though the word is indeed in here several times. So let's try PDNOB over here. They claim to have free OCR directly in browser. So I'm going to go and select the file that I have prepared. And as you can see, it loaded the file, detected the type of document, and we can select the language of the document. So I'm going to then go to OCR PDF and it will be added over here in the corner as a task. And yeah, as you can see, after a while, we get a download prompt over here and we can download the file. And if we open this in browser, you can see that now I can completely select the text over here. And this is still the scanned document. You can see by the images, but the text is now selectable. And of course, we can copy it into a Word document. We can search it. I can now search the word jailbreak and it would find every single instance of it, which it previously could not. So I would give the OCR tool over here a pass with flying colors. Let's move on to signing documents because that's also usually a paid feature. So if you need to send Send somebody a contract, for example, and you have them sign them with legally binding digital signature, that's usually a paid service. They do have PDNOB sign over here and it says it's free. So I'm going to click on get started and it says add a digital signature to PDFs for free. It says it's unlimited, no size, page or task restrictions. So I'm going to choose the file this one over here, it's gonna offer me a preview. I'm gonna click next and it says add recipient. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and add the name of the recipient and I'm gonna input email. And of course we can add a message like this. Maybe I'm sending a contract to a customer and so on. So then we can preview the document like this and see exactly what it contains. And right here, I can go all the way down or whatever I want to, and I can add a signature panel wherever I see fit. And I'm gonna press send over here. And this way it will be sent. And of course, the person that I'm sending it to will be able to sign the document. But first you can see that here in my panel, I can see that this still needs signature. So we're waiting for the person, the customer to sign it. But here on email, you can see that we received the actual document and we can sign it online. I'm gonna accept this over here here. And yeah, it's preparing the document. I can read it. I can preview all the pages. I can go all the way down and click the signature over here. And it already has my signature saved, but I can change it. I can draw a signature if I want to. I can upload an image of my signature. Or I can simply have my name over here and select the font. Remember that this is a legally binding signature and it gets a unique code over here to prove that it was indeed signed by you and opened by you. So then we can press finish and this will be sent back to the person who requested your signature. Now you can see that if we refresh this page, it is indeed completed and we can get the PDF file and the certificate for it and we can merge them into one document. And if we open them, you can see that it was indeed signed. You can see certificate signature signed by me. And of course, when it was viewed when it was created, when it was completed. Now, this is great. It didn't ask for any money up to this point. So let's see further features. I'm gonna go next with Merge PDF. Now, this one allows you to combine multiple PDF files into one single big document. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this file over here and this one over here and combine them together. We can also choose the order. I'm gonna select that one to be the first and this one the second. And I'm gonna click Merge PDF file, which will do the task. And a few seconds later, we get the downloadable file. 
so you can see that we have this one at first and then we have the wikipedia article about jailbreaking in addition to that making it a big pdf file with 20 pages so that worked as well now another thing you can do is if you have a pdf file that is very big and you need to compress it to reduce the size you go here with compress pdf and you can select one from here on your desktop and then you can select the type of compression light compression moderate or high compression i'm gonna go with high compression and press compress PDF and we can now download the document and I'm going to save it over here and if you take a look this is the compressed document so I'm going to go to get info over here and it's 2.4 megs in size and this one is the original document and as you can see it's 11 megs in size you also have the option to convert the document to an editable word document so you will be able to edit it add text add images and so on so we can do so by clicking PDF to word or to Excel PowerPoint and so on but I'm interested in the word version over here so I'm going to select from here and I'm going to convert to Word. All right, a few seconds later we do get the Word document and if I open it in Microsoft Word you can see that it's now fully editable and we can write. As you can see I wrote this is a test text and we can make it bold, we can make it bigger, we can actually highlight it, we can even remove the images if we don't need them anymore and we can do all sorts of changes to the text that exists. Now the opposite of this also works, you can make a Word document into a PDF. I'm going to select the Word document from desktop and convert it and there we go, we got the PDF file and now we can open it and you can see that the PDF file has been created and it's now available, we can use it and it does have my changes. Now the last one I would like to show you is the protect over here which allows us to password protect a PDF file. This feature is usually paid as well on some of the programs that I checked but I'm going to go ahead in here on PDF and as you can see we can set a password but the most important part about PDNob is that they do not limit your in batch processes. You can do as many as you want. They don't limit you to a number of pages or a number of tasks. I'm going to set a password for this document to make it more secure and then we can protect the PDF. And this is very useful if you're sending a sensitive document via email and you can send the password in a different more secure format or you can probably tell the person the password so that when they receive the document like I did over here if they try to open it a password is required so the document will not be openable until they input the correct password password. And now that we have the password, we press submit and the document will indeed open. So overall, all the tools that I tried with the PDNOB online were completely free as they claim, including the OCR, and they all worked fine. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be small PDF. Now, small PDF also includes the same kind of tools like compression, converter, OCR, and of course, the option to crop and watermark, as well as split and even add password to a PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and first test the protect PDF option over here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. And then we can set a password in here. But I can already see that this one says it's a 128-bit AES encryption. While this one over here uses 256-bit AES encryption. Both of them should be uncrackable. But this one uses a much bigger key. Now we can set a password over here and it will do the thing. And yeah, as you can see, we can download the encrypted file. So that definitely worked. We can go ahead and convert PDF to Word as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get the PDF file, this one over here. And yeah, you can see that we have two options, convert selectable text only or convert text in scans. So if you have a scanned one, this one will unfortunately require you to pay. So I'm gonna give it a fail over here. You can convert, but you can only convert digital PDFs. If it's a scanned document, this is going to ask you to pay. Then on the compression, let's try to compress a document. I'm gonna get this one over here. Let's try to make it smaller. I have two two different types of compression with small PDF basic and strong and the strong one only gives you one for free after that you're going to have to pay so we can do one and then the next one is not going to be free then on the organizing here let's try to merge two pdf files i'm going to go ahead and try to merge the ios jailbreaking and this one over here and yeah it appears that you can merge them and you can also select which one is the first however if you want to move pages individually that is apparently a paid feature and that appears to be working as well 
now for requesting signature they send you to a different product which is sign.com but this one is also paid they only give you two documents for free and it only has basic verification if you want unlimited documents you're going to have to pay up to seven dollars a month just for signing so i'm going to give it a failing here as well it's okay for casual signing but it's not going to be okay for daily use now let's test i love pdf they do have a great amount of tools this one is also containing some paid tools but let's see where the limitations are i'm going to start with merge pdf in here and as you can see we can select files again i'm going to go ahead and select a couple of files and we can merge them and it doesn't seem to show any option to pay so yeah it has worked we can download the merged file so merging with i love pdf definitely works Let's go ahead and try to compress PDF files now with I love PDF. I'm going to select this one over here. And yes, this one has three options as well, just like PD knob. It has extreme compression, recommended compression, and less compression. I'm going to go with extreme. And yes, it appears that it has worked as well. Now let's do the protect PDF. So adding a password. Unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to say what kind of key it uses. It just asks for a password. I'm going to use a strong password and try to protect the document. And yeah, that worked as well. Let's then download the file and test it. I'm going to test it right here. Yeah, that definitely worked. So you can use it for this as well. Now let's try to convert the PDF to Word. And I'm going to select the PDF file like this over here. And here we have a problem. If the file is a digital file, it will convert it completely for free to Word format or Excel. But if it's a scan like it's in here, it says upgrade the premium. OCR is a premium feature. So unfortunately, I'm going to give it failing here because the OCR feature is not free. And now let's try to do a proper OCR to the document without converting it. Let's convert a non-selectable PDF file into selectable and searchable. So I'm going to go here on the test and select the scanned document. It also provides the document language option over here and apply OCR. However, it seems that is also a paid feature starting at four euros. So unfortunately, that's also limited. Another limitation that I've seen with both I love PDF and small PDF is the amount of documents that you can do. And of course, you can check that one in here on the batch processing. You can see that the free one is limited. So the merge one is limited to 25. The split one is limited to one compress PDF to two. The conversions are all limited to one document and so on. And even the premium version has pretty big limitations. So my conclusion is that the best software that does this online completely for free with no ads, no hidden limitations remains PD knob. And as you could see in this video, none of these features were put behind a paywall and I could even use the OCR for free, which is usually very rare. Now, for those of you who need an offline solution, a desktop version of the program, Tenorshare appears to also provide the AI powered PD knob for Windows and Mac OS. And this one can also do conversion and editing, annotation, and it also has the OCR. So you can definitely check it out below if you're a professional user and you need the application version or program version of this instead of the browser one. But yes, the browser PD knob online remains the best option out of the three with small PDF and I love PDF coming second and third. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Peace out.